Hello students, myself Dr. Sachin Kapoor and I wish you a very warm welcome to this session of Zoology Lectures. The topic of our discussion today is Synapse. Synapse means the junction between two cells. It's not necessary that the cells have to be neurons. It may or may not be neuron. In most of the cases, the presynaptic cell is a neuron and the postsynaptic cell may also be a neuron. But presynaptic cell is a neuron and postsynaptic cell is a muscle cell. That's also present. That means the neuromuscular junction. Synapses can be classified into two broad categories that is chemical synapse and electrical synapse. We'll first discuss in detail about chemical synapse. Now, in case of a chemical synapse, the presynaptic and the postsynaptic cells do not physically touch each other. There is a gap between the pre and the postsynaptic cell. That gap is synaptic cleft. Neurotransmitters are released in this synaptic cleft. Now, what are neurotransmitters? The biochemical substances which are involved in nerve impulse transmission across chemical synapse. There are variety of neurotransmitters which are used by our neurons like acetylcholine, noradrenaline, dopamine. We'll be discussing about acetylcholine as a neurotransmitter. Now, what happens is that when the nerve impulse reaches the axon and bulb, it opens the voltage-gated calcium channels which are present in the presynaptic membrane, resulting in influx of calcium from the extracellular fluid into the axon and bulb. These calcium ions, they cause detachment of the synaptic vesicles from protein synapsin 1. Synaptic vesicles are present in the axon and bulb. So, when the synaptic vesicles detach from the protein synapsin 1, these fuse with the presynaptic membrane and release the neurotransmitter acetylcholine in the synaptic cleft. The receptors for acetylcholine are present on the postsynaptic membrane. Acetylcholine binds to its receptors and opens the gates for the entry of sodium ions resulting in influx of sodium into the postsynaptic cell which is in this case a neuron. We are discussing a synapse between the axon ending and the dendrite of the next neuron. Such a synapse is called exodendritic synapse. Now, once there is influx of the sodium ions in the postsynaptic membrane that depolarizes the next neuron, that is the postsynaptic neuron, and the impulse travels through the postsynaptic neuron. Immediately after performing its function, acetylcholine is removed from the synaptic cleft by the enzyme acetylcholinesterase, which is present in the synaptic cleft. This enzyme breaks acetylcholine into acetic acid and choline. Acetic acid and choline, they diffuse into the nearby blood vessels and are also taken back into the presynaptic neuron. Acetic acid and choline combine to form acetylcholine by the action of enzyme choline acetyltransferase present in the mitochondria. So that was about chemical synapse. In brief, Chemical synapses involve neurotransmitters. The pre- and the postsynaptic cells are not physically connected. A gap called synaptic cleft is present between pre- and the postsynaptic cell. Thank you.